Okay, uh, so tonight I've got a couple of friends over, so I'm doing a sort of bigger dinner than usual and something a bit fancier, but uh, just as easy to do. Um, so what we're doing is a pesto crusty chicken with uh, roasted root vegetables, and this is everything that you're going to need. Um, equipment wise, what you need is a couple of roasting trays, if you can get nice deep ones like this, that'll be ideal, especially for the chicken because we're actually going to um, tinfoil the chicken. Um, but the tinfoil kind of touch it. For the veg, you could probably get away with a, a less shallow one or a more shallow one. Uh, important thing, the oven, uh, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven um, and put the, the tray for the veg in while the oven's heating up because you need the veg to go into a hot tray otherwise uh, it doesn't quite work right. Uh, the other thing you need is a wee mini blender or if you've got a big blender um, like that. Um, because we're going to make our own breadcrumbs. Uh, again, you can buy your own breadcrumbs, but I've tried it before with that, and they just seem to go soggy with the pesto, whereas if you make your own breadcrumbs, for some reason it goes crispy. Um, so, uh, what we need is we've got four chicken breasts, uh, and you can pretty much choose whatever veg you want, but this is what I have left in the fridge. So, I've got three parsnips, one sweet potato, and four carrots. Um, you need a wee bit of olive oil, um, basically just to stop the chicken sticking to the pan. Um, a jar of green pesto, works just as well with red pesto, um, but I've got green pesto, so that's what I'm using. And two or three slices of bread uh, to make the breadcrumbs with. Again, important health and safety, you're working with raw meat and veg, so you need to make sure you work with them separate, separate knives, separate chopping boards to avoid any food poisoning. Um, so I'll put the chicken aside first, and all this other stuff, and we'll do the veg first of all. So um, basically, all this veg is going to need peeled. Um, and the parsnips and the carrots get topped and tailed and then I'm going to cut them into basically chips um, to roast them. Um, you need to take the core out of the parsnip, you can see the core there and um, I'll show you how to do that but I'm going to uh, basically peel and get this veg ready and I'll show you how to take the core out of the parsnip uh, when I come back. All right, uh, so this is uh, peeled and top and tailed the veg um, so I cut it into chips just because I like doing it that shape really, you can really do whatever you want, you can leave it really chunky, um, cut it in slices, whatever, uh, just bear in mind the bigger the chunks the longer it's going to take to cook, so and for that reason you want to try and make sure they're all the same size, um, so for the parsnips and I'm going to half it uh, and then quarter it and then half it again and you can see, you can see there, there's the core to take out. Um, on the smaller parsnips you can leave it in, on these big ones it just goes really woody and horrible when you cook it and it tastes pretty awful so you really need to take it out. There's no real easy way to do it, you just got to be careful with your knife and kind of cut in to it. This one's actually really woody. There we go, eventually pops out, and then you're left with the good bit, and then I'll probably just cut that in three, and I'll do it like that. So you just get some chips. So you can see this is going to be a wee bit fiddly, so I'll get all this done, uh, and then um, we'll move on. Okay, so uh, that's all the veg chopped up into chips. You can see I've just kind of roughly made them all the same size. Uh, now what you need to do is get a good dash of olive oil and season it well with the salt and pepper. Don't be too shy with the seasoning here. I like quite a bit of pepper on it as well. Right, now it's a case of just getting your hands in and mixing it all up, making sure everything's coated in the oil and the seasoning. So everyone should have a nice glisten to it. If you think there's too little oil, then by all means add some more. But it should just it should just be enough to cover the veg. You don't want it swimming in oil, because um, basically the oil will just mean the veg crisps up in the oven. So you can see that there's not a lot of oil on the bottom of the bottom of the bowl, and all the veg is nicely covered. So I can leave that sitting, um, and what I'll do is I'll wash my hands, I'll change my boards and all that, and then we'll do the chicken.
Alright, so I've changed my board, I've washed my knife, and yeah, I've got the veg out of the way, and while I was away, I've done the breadcrumbs. All you have to do is bung, uh, tear the bread up, put it in the food processor, a bit of salt and pepper, and just roughly crumb it like that. Okay, so that's ready to go. Uh, so the chicken, again, you just you want to take kind of fatty bits off the chicken. So that wee bit there. That was actually Try and get that off as well. It's not it's not essential, it's just nicer if you get some of the these bits off. Um, and leave that wee bit under there, that's called the fillet, just leave all that on. Okay, you want the whole chicken breast, you don't want to be cutting into it or anything like that. You just want to tidy it up a wee bit. Sometimes there's a wee bit of gristle there as well that you want to get rid of. Um, so I'll do these other two and um, then we'll uh, do the pesto and breaker. Right, so um, chicken's prepared, it's in the tray. You can get four in this quite comfortably. You just got to make sure there's room around them so the heat gets around it all. I put some olive oil in the bottom of the tray just to stop them sticking. Um, and now what I'm going to do is put on the pesto. I just remembered I've got a half jar left from something I made earlier. So um, this is really easy. All you need to do is spin the pesto on top of the chicken breast. Uh, so, uh, you want to spread it out. You want a, a fairly thick layer, enough to cover the top of the chicken. Um, the point of this is to kind of keep the, the moisture, or keep the chicken moist. I've maybe overdone it a wee bit, but that's fine. I can just go over there. So, fairly even, fairly smooth. I have to be totally precise with that. And then you just sprinkle the breadcrumbs over it. Again, try and cover it. Um, it doesn't have to be completely covered. And just give it a wee pat down so it sticks. And try and get the stuff from the side just to uh, stop. So that's it. That's how you, put, that's how you do a pesto crust. Um, so I'll go on with these. I'll show you what it's like once all four are done. Uh, we'll tin foil it and I'll put it in the oven uh, and I'll let you know how long you need to cook it for. Alright, it's the four chicken breasts prepared. Um, you can see they're all pestoed and uh, breadcrumbed, for lack of a better phrase. Uh, the oven's now ready. Um, so this meal in total takes 40 minutes um, for four. Um, for two people, depending on the size of the chicken breast, it'll take 25 to 30 minutes, although things are coming in and out of the oven. Um, so I'm going to clink, uh, sorry, I'm going to tin foil this and put it in the oven, and then in 10 minutes' time, I'm going to put uh, the veg in. Um, so I'll get this in the oven just now, and then we'll come back to uh, the veg. Okay, uh, so 10 minutes has passed. I've taken the hot tray out of the oven because that's where I'm going to put the veg in, and you just tip it all in, make sure it's fairly evenly spread. And then this goes back in the oven um, for 20 minutes um, and then we'll take it back out, mix it about a wee bit. The chicken will also come out after that 20 minutes and the tin foil comes off and everything goes back in for another 10 and, uh, and that's it ready. But um, I'll put this in for the 20 minutes and then we'll come back for uh, the bit where the veg and the chicken comes out and gets uh, mixed about. Alright, so uh, that's actually 15 minutes have passed. Um, just took a wee bit longer for the veg to cook because of the amount that's in here. So all you want to do is move it about to make sure it cooks evenly and then it's sticking. And then I'll put that in for another 10 minutes and I'll just grab the chicken. Okay, the chicken's cooking nicely, um, so what I'll do is I'll stick this back in for 10 minutes as well. Um, and that's to crisp up the breadcrumbs so you get a nice crispy crumb on top. Um, and then that should be the meal cooked. So uh, I'll show you at the end. Okay, so there you go. Uh, four meals. Uh, it took another 15 minutes in the oven. I think it was just because of the amount of veg I was trying to cook. Um, but that's it. Pesto crusted chicken breasts with... Uh, roasted root vegetables. I'm uh, pretty sure this meal's cost less than £10. Uh, I'll price it all up when I do the video. 
But thanks very much for watching um, and subscribe to my channel for any more videos and uh, leave any comments underneath. Thanks.